today I'm bringing you back another scratch video today is gonna be on a soccer game that we can make in scratch it's pretty easy so basically how it's gonna work is you're gonna have two players red and blue they're gonna be shooting a white ball into their goals and they're gonna move with WASD and arrow keys and to hit the ball in a certain direction you just hit it from that angle so I know that probably doesn't make sense with the angle and stuff but uh, I'm just gonna show you guys and let's see if it makes sense later so first off, we're going to go into our costumes, clear it, and then delete this one, clear this, convert it to bitmap, and then just take our circle, May use the second to dark red, just make a circle, hold down shift, and then press this, so it looks like that. Now, on the right, you're going to want to make two little dots for the eyes, so increase it a bit, and then uh, even more, I think, and simply go like that and that. Make sure it's centered. Mine isn't centered. It's almost centered, but you got to be exact for these kind of things. And then go into scripts and say when flag is clicked. But before we're going to do any of that, we need to make a couple of variables. The first variable we need to make is um, speed x, but it's going to be for the red. So we're just going to say um, red, red speed x and then red speed y and then just um let's see what else we're gonna need i think that's it so first off we're gonna set both of them to zero at the very start of the game so just drag in those and just right click it to duplicate it and then say go into motion and say go to x y and make it negative 171 and three once you have that, you're going to go into control and drag in a forever. In the forever, you're going to say point towards sprite 2. Or we're not going to do, we're going to make the ball first. So we're going to say point towards here and we're going to make the ball then. So basically the ball is going to be somewhat similar. It's going to use black as the outline. And that's a little bit too thick there. So yeah, just make it a little bit smaller. And then use white to do that. And they're too big, but we'll adjust that later. Right now, we just want to get the code down. So you want to say point towards sprite 2. And then right after that, um, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to say you want to drag in the control block. So if um, W is pressed, which is going to be up for red. Where is that? Here it is. Key W is pressed. And we have to search through this. And then simply... Um, change speed y by 0.6 and that I found that that's a pretty good number you guys can change it obviously but that's what I want to go with and then duplicate this and duplicate that again and simply change this to s which we have to look for again it's right there then you can just make this negative 0.6 and then here we're gonna do a and then here we're gonna go G and as you guess we're not gonna be changing the speed uh, y, we're going to be changing the speed x, and it's going to be by 0.6 for d and negative 0.6 for a. Okay, so then after that, you're going to want to go to motion and you're going to say change x by and then change y by, and then go to data and say change x, y, x speed and change y by y speed. Right? So then, um, yeah, there we go. And then we're going to drag in a set speed, red speed y. And we're going to want to operators, and we're going to drag in the multiplication one. So it's just the blank, so our blank. In the first one, we're going to go into data again and drag in a speed x. But in the second one, we wanted to shorten every time this runs so that it slowly deaccelerates. So we're going to do that and then duplicate it. Make sure this is y and make sure this should be x, so this should be matching up right here. And, um, yeah, so you can see that it's always gonna be pointing at the ball, and that's kind of the feel we're going for. I'll explain a little bit more. So we're gonna shrink this guy just till there, or maybe a little bit more. And then the ball we're gonna shrink. So in the ball's code, before we do the other blue guy, just to make sure it works we're gonna go to when flag is clicked forever 
if on edge bounce, which is something we don't use a lot because it's kind of like you don't get to code what it says. It kind of scratch just kind of makes it for you. But we're going to use it in this case. So we're going to say if we can go into sensing and drag in touching. I'm going to say if touching sprite one, then simply broadcast point here. So events and say red point. And then after that, we're going to say set direction, which is going to be another variable we make. So it's going to be set direction. And then, um, and then we're going to make another variable called the ball speed. And we're actually going to rename this uh, set direction. It's going to just be a ball direction. So then what we can do next is we simply set direction. And there's an easier way to do this, but I'm just going to make it so that it's clear. We're going to go into sensing and make a change this to direction of hmm, direction of sprite one. And then simply go into motion and say point in direction and then say ball direction. OK, so then after that, we're going to set speed to 10 just to make it go uh, fast. So set ball speed to 10. But obviously, setting ball speed to 10 isn't going to do anything. So what we want to do is we want to go to motion. We're going to say move and then go into data and as you may guess, drag in the ball speed. So after that, um, what you're going to want to do is uh, set speed to some numbers. So set ball speed to, uh, and this is going to slow it down generally. So multiplication sign. Again, it's the circle, star of the circle. And it's going to be times 0.93, which is what I found is good. And then when flag is clicked, we're going to want to go to a certain position. So we're going to say go to 0, 0. And then, yeah. So you can see, I think it'll work here. Yeah, there we go. That's how we want our game to look. And I think it looks really good. We're going to have the red on one side and obviously the blue on one side. But you're going to have to score like this. I think we can make it actually uh, go a little bit less. So we're going to say 0.9 five or so let's see how that works out there we go i like that but this is a lot like dribbling and instead of actually shooting but i think that's how the game's gonna work so we're gonna make both of these guys a little bit smaller and then we're gonna go on to making the blue player there we go so the blue player is very similar to the red player obviously all you're gonna do is simply make new uh, variables uh, sorry variables and the first one's going to be blue speed x and blue speed y and then just to get a uh, visual we're going to go into costumes and then change the main to this or actually let's see does this color look better no i like this color here and this color on the outline if i can get the outline there we go. Okay. So then we're going to go into scripts and say instead of W, we're going to do up arrow. Obviously, they're going to change this to ball speed Y. Here's going to be ball speed Y and blue speed Y. And then here's going to be blue speed X. And then here's going to be blue speed X. And instead of having S, we're going to do the down arrow. A should be left arrow and D should be right arrow. So then we're going to want to right click this and change it to blue speed X, obviously. And then here the same for the blue speed Y. Same right here. Blue speed X. Wait, yeah. Blue speed Y. And change this to blue speed X. And this should be blue speed Y. So then at the very start, we're going to say blue speed X and blue speed Y. And then here it's just going to be 171. And make this zero. Go into red and make that zero too. And let's see how it looks. So right now you have two players, right? And we haven't coded the blue touching the ball, but at least we can see that the 
blue moves. So then in the ball is where I'm gonna do a lot of the rest of the code. So basically, um, I'm gonna duplicate this and then just drag this off and say, if touching sprite three, then simply broadcast blue point and then set ball direction to direction of sprite three again here and then set ball speed to 10 yeah pretty self-explanatory let's see how that works all right so then in our red we're gonna say um uh when i receive a uh, red point all we're gonna do is simply just say um sorry about that when i receive red point we're gonna say change um x or set blue speed y and then duplicate this i was going to say set blue speed x and blue speed y to zero and then same thing here so we're gonna, we can drag that there and change it to a blue point and like that and then we accidentally made this blue we're going to want to make that red speed y and red speed x so that's going to be it for this tutorial we're going to get to more next tutorial with the goals in the background and just making it a full functional game but yeah that's basically what we have right now thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time and peace out <laughs>